it's Becky from Lessons by the Lake. I want to talk to you about back to school sharing today during morning meeting. So those first couple of weeks of school, sharing is an amazing way to really get to know your students, to ask those questions and have those conversations, to learn about them outside of school and just really learn what makes them special and unique and what they enjoy. So how do we do this? So I start with round robin sharing. So I pose a question or a topic to the whole class and everyone gets a turn to share. So usually it's a question that only has a couple words as an answer or a short sentence, so it doesn't take too much time and we're able to get through all of the students. So I have a few different ways that I do this. So I have some topics that are themed by day, like Mindful Monday, This or That Tuesday, Wednesday Wishes, Talkative Thursday, and Favorite Friday, and it's just get to know you questions. These are good for all year round. You could use these all year if you want to. They're especially good those first few weeks. I mean, things like, I wish I had more. Wouldn't that be really interesting and tell you a lot about your students to hear what they wish they had more of? So these are just great starters to get everyone to share and just help make connections and get to know each other. I always, always give my students the option to pass, especially those first few weeks of school. I was the student that I was terrified the first few weeks. I was nervous to be away from my mom, to be in a new class with new people, and I hated talking in front of the class. So I'm always really conscious to make sure that they have the option to pass if they want to. And they usually start to be confident and ready to talk pretty quickly, but I just like to offer that to them. So you can do these type of get to know you questions. Um, here are my, some of my favorite back to school summer themed questions. Were you outside or inside more this summer? Hmm, that'd be interesting to know. Then students can ask each other follow-up questions like, what did you do outside? Did you go to camp? Did you go swimming a lot? They can ask these questions at lunch or later in the day. What's your favorite new school supply? What's our most important rule? Hmm, be interesting to see what they feel is the most important. This has got a couple days in after you've talked about the rules a lot and practiced them. It'd be interesting to see what they think is the most important. So we start with that for a few weeks while I get to know the kids and we establish the routines and the procedures for morning meeting. And then we move into comp what I call combination sharing. So every student gets a day of the week. So there's about five or six students a day, depending on your class size, and that's their day to share. So what we're moving towards is that they're allowed to share whatever they want about their lives during their time. But while, why I call it combination sharing is while we're getting used to that and students are still acclimating to being in the class and learn, making friends, I also still pose a question. So they have the option, if they have something they wanna share, like they went to their cousin's birthday party last weekend and they wanna tell us that, that's great. If they would rather answer the question that's up on the board, they can also do that. So we do that for a few weeks while they get used to the routine that they get to share once a week and they have their set day. So I have it posted like this paper I have hanging behind me so they know what their day is. That's a freebie on my blog. I also have a version where if you wanna write each kid's name and switch out the page each day so they can just see who's sharing that day, whatever works best for your class, you can grab that for free on my blog. So during that time, we're building how to facilitate only a few kids sharing at a time. That's also when I introduce that students can ask follow-up questions. So when the person's done sharing, they say, I'm ready for questions and comments. And this is the signal that the other kids in the circle can raise their hand and show their active listening skills by having a great question that relates to what the student just shared about. And then the sharer themselves gets to call on who they want to ask a question. I think this is really important because it shows them that their voice and their role in morning meeting is valued and it's important. They don't need me interjecting and facilitating and picking. They can, they have every ability and they can choose who they want to ask the question and then they can answer them. And it really empowers them. It's amazing to watch how proud they are when they look around the circle and see that their classmates are interested in the story that they just told. So we do this for a few weeks. And then we move into all, all about me sharing. So the students don't have a question posed for them anymore. They're just allowed to share about their life and what's important to them. This takes a lot of modeling and expectation building about what's appropriate to share in school. We talk a lot about a short share, that you're just doing a one or two sentence share about something that you wanna leave the class wanting more. So they have things that they wanna ask questions about. So these first few weeks, you're really building to get to that independence where all you do is you say the student's name, whose turn it is to share, 
and then they run it. They tell you what they want to tell you. They ask students for questions and it's an amazing, amazing time to really get to know kids. It is my absolute favorite part of the day. Just getting to sit back and watch them share and connect with each other and really build those close community relationships. And the questions that these kids come up with, they're so personal and thoughtful. Sometimes I'm shocked by them and they're just, it's a beautiful thing to see. Okay, so if you wanna read more about how I teach these procedures and expectations, there's another video on my page that you can check out. I'll link that below. I also have a few blogs that you can read. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I am happy to talk to you to help plan your first morning meeting, to help establish what kind of sharing you wanna start with, how to teach it to your kids explicitly. So just let me know how I can help you. So you can start by grabbing these freebies if you want them. They're a good thing to start with. And then I'll put the links to these cards also if you wanna check them out. Very helpful just to have something on hand to pull out to ask quickly. I also have these digitally if you wanna project them up on your smart board so your kids can see them when they first come in. I like to give the kids a heads up on what the question is so they have time to think about it and prepare their answer so they're again not put on the spot like that. But do whatever works best for your kids. This is a special time and make it what you wanna make it so that it's meaningful for your class and for you. Also, it, I always like to share the first couple weeks so the students are also learning about me and I'm modeling appropriate sharing. So keep that in mind that if we're asking them to be vulnerable, it helps if we're also vulnerable ourselves. Okay, so let me know how else I can help you and thank you for stopping by.